the new chapter for the session is surface areas and volumes what is the surface area and what is the volume now that we have discussed about area and perimeter in a solid closed figure similarly we have the concept of surface area and volume which mainly comes in the three dimensional zone so let's see in brief about surface areas and volumes of different solid figures for example if i have a different sheet of papers say for example i have this paper which is rectangular we know that this sheet of paper when just understood is understood as a rectangle with length and breadth but what if i start adding another papers like i had the set of papers joined together so when the set of papers are joined together then it seems to form a solid figure so this kind of a solid figure which is formed by each sheet of paper combined together to form a bundle of papers is what makes us enter into the concept of surface areas and volumes similarly if i take the example of this this is a rectangular plank this is length and this is breadth but we also this is the length and this is the width and also we see that it has slight thickness on the rim so if we take into consideration even the three dimensional thickness along with the length and width such a concept makes us introduce or enter into the zone of surface area and volume for a solid object we also take into account the thickness and this makes us understand why surface area and volume come into existence so let's recap with area as we have seen that area is the total region occupied by the closed figure so this is the area of this face but this being a solid object has areas in all the different directions it has area here and here and here and here and here and here so totally there are six different faces for this shape which is called a cuboid in mathematics so when it comes to a cuboid let's draw a cuboid and just understand the concept here is the cuboid assumed to be from seen from this angle now there are totally six faces face 1 face 2 face 3 4 5 and 6 down so each of the faces have their own area assumed to be a rectangle so surface area is the area of each face of the solid figure so we understand the surface area the surface area is defined as the area occupied by each face of the solid figure so the surface area is defined as the area occupied by each face of the solid figure so in this case there are six faces which occupy six different areas so when you add up all the six different areas together then the total area is called the surface area of that object in this case it is a cuboid what is the volume so in general sense as i see this object to occupy some space like for example this object occupies some space so any object in universe which occupies space is called the volume it is the capacity and hence let's define volume in terms of the capacity of this box is to occupy this much of space and hence its volume is 
what it occupies in a space. So, in general terms, the volume is defined as the space occupied by the solid figure or sometimes we also call the volume as capacity. So the volume is also called the capacity in some other means of understanding the volume. So here the volume is defined as the space occupied by the solid figure and the surface area is defined as the area occupied by each face of the solid figure. So each face area then added up gives me surface area and the space which the object occupies is defined to be the volume of the solid figure. Is how we understand the surface area and volumes of a three dimensional object. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.